Ladies and gentlemen, we're live here at historic John Hinkle Amphitheater in Berkeley, California. This lush and beautiful venue was built in 1937, combining the smells and sounds of nature while honoring the ancient Greek architecture. A setting that would certainly garner the approval of Joseph Pilates. The reformer is center stage, so we're ready for action. Let's meet the Pilates performers. Out first, the student. Coming out of Houston, Texas at only 23 years of age, standing at 6 feet 2 inches and weighing in at 283 pounds. A defensive tackle for Cal football for four years, a graduate of Cal Berkeley in 2012 in social welfare, and currently pursuing his dream to play professional football, Kendrick Payne. And now, the teacher. Born and raised in Berkeley, California, standing six feet tall, weighing in at 162 pounds. A graduate of Cal Berkeley in 2001 in music and American studies. A third generation Pilates teacher through the Romana line. Only 36 years old, yet bringing 12 years of Pilates teaching experience. Whoa, is that a third of his life? Here he is, Joseph Quinn. Hello, my name is Joseph Quinn, and uh, we are doing our Pilates Anytime submission. Uh, I'm a Pilates instructor. This is my student, Kendrick Payne. Uh, we're going to be going through the classical long stretch series on the reformer. We're going to break it down. First, we're going to do the uh, elephant, and we're going to look at some of the different variations. You can explore it. Now, uh, Kendrick, we're going to start with a rounded back variation. So, Kendrick, please drop your chin, lift and round the torso up as much as you can. Very good. And now gently curl your toes up. Nice, Kendrick. And you feel that intensifies the stretch behind the leg. Try to round the torso up even more. Now, the breath in Pilates is very important. The breath is not a reactionary event. It is uh, that which initiates and caresses each movement. It is, a, uh, that is the conductor. So curl the toes all the way up. Gently push the carriage out. Inhale and exhale, lift and pull all the way back in. Very, very nice. Again, inhale out, hold, exhale in. We're gonna go into the long stretch and break it all the way down. Kendrick, what's your max bench? 385. 385 pounds is what he normally benches. Uh, that's a lot. So, uh, but you can see that there's still a little bit of a collapse in there. Now lift up in the chest. Beautiful. Hold that there. Now that's the challenge to maintain the integrity of the spine while lengthening out and pulling the carriage in from the abdominals. Please lift your head up just a little bit through the cervical spine. Chin lifts as well. Very nice. Now inhale, push the carriage out. Beautiful. Hold that there. All right, now utilizing the scoop. Exhale, pull the belly button in and then bring the carriage in. Keeping the hips down, that's it. Inhale out. We will now go into the down stretch, uh, a really pretty exercise. Uh, breath is rather important, uh, both in Pilates and in life, I would say. So we are uh, still second gear, one red, one blue. Um, Kendrick is a larger individual. Um, so what we want to do is we want to adjust the springs, you know, slide it back into second gear, make a couple of adjustments. So th these aren't standard spring settings, as you well know. A concept I like to think about is a, a basic Pilates concept is sequential movement. Now, you want to apply the same thing theory here, sequential movement. Um, it's a lot harder because there's no mat, there's no tactile cue from any device. Um, so you have to do it all on your own. Um, you are also coming up into extension, which is a tough plane of motion to get. Uh, it's easy to load your lower back. What I want you to think about here is your hips are coming down first, then those abdominals are really starting to pull up, the chest starts to open, the shoulders drop wide, and then the chin comes up, right? You had a nice lift of the head and then it kind of crunched back into the cervical. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Bring the hands on, let's do this. Gently push down and back. There we go. That's great, that's great. You see that nice soft angle there? It looks good, Kendrick. Okay, think sequential. Slowly start to push the hips down. Very nice, start to pull up in the abdominals but not into the lower back. Good, let the chest open wider. Let the shoulders slide down the back. Now gently let the chin come up. Howl at the moon. Howl. Very nice. Now make that breath last the entire exercise. Inhale, down and back. Now we're going to go with the up stretch. Bring the balls of the feet forward a little bit more. 
Okay, so this is a nice combination of the elephant and the long stretch. Very difficult exercise. Gently press the carriage all the way out. Stop. Keep the carriage set. Bring the torso forward. Drop the hips down. Lengthen through the head. Keep the shoulders wide. Beautiful. Hold it. And now exhale. Bring it all the way in. Ah, ah, ah. Keep the hips down. Nice. Come all the way out over the front. You got it, Kendrick. And now lift the hips. Bring it up. Lift through the hips, lift, 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 drop the head down. Push the hips up, back, lift, there it is. This one was not included. I'm gonna overdub this with some actual pictures from this picture. So, blah, 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 blah. Um, okay, now we're gonna go into the long back stretch, the last of the series, flip it around. But what it's really about here is just the fluid motion of the hips, right? You're allowing the pelvis to go through space. Holy. Push the hips all the way out. One, lift, 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 lift. Beautiful. Now drop the hips down and bending the elbows. Pull it back in tight, excellent. Now lift all the way up. Now what we wanna do is tie them all together to make one fluid, continuous work of art, right? LD, you wanna take a quick moment? You need a water? You good? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, that's what you do. A lot, a lot of movement, a lot of movement. Um, yeah. We'll do like one or two repetitions of each one. We'll see. See what happens. Heels are together. Toes are apart in dancer's first position. Pilates first position. Slowly float the hands all the way up to the seed. Beautiful. Take an inhale. Engage the abdominals. Drop the chin. Begin your exhale. Start to round. <laughs> inhale. Press the carriage out. Keep the integrity of the spine. Beautiful, Kendrick. Exhale in. One. Give me two more, just like that. That's perfect. Out. Keep it wide in here. Lift up in the chest and back in two. There it is. That's the one. One more, just like that. Inhale. Exhale in. Do not clank the carriage. Slowly float the knees down. Down and back. Inhale as you come. And exhale, sequential movement. The hips come down, the abdominals come up, the chest open, the shoulders slide down, the head comes up, howl at the moon. And inhale, down and back. Don't compress the neck. All the way back, that's the angle. Now exhale, come up, keep the length in the neck. Think of a crescent moon. Nice soft angle. Gently come down and back. That's the one right there, let's do one more. Hold, take an inhale, press the carriage out, one. Exhale, pull up and in, using the breath as the conductor. Inhale, it slides out. Exhale, come up, that looks great. Drop your chin a little bit, one more. Inhale, out. Exhale, bring it all the way up and in, right into the up stretch. Push the carriage out, one. Stabilize the carriage, lengthen the body, bring the hips down, come out to a long plank, hold, and bring it forward with a long plank as best you can. Stay, get out there, get out there, get out there. Now pull the hips up, drop the chin, all the way up, 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 drop that chin down, then the carriage comes out. Stop, bring and now reversal. Back up, forward, bring it down and through, lengthen, great. Stop, lift up in the hips, keep the head set, drop the chin down, good, and bring the carriage in, all the way out, forward. Long back stretch, pecs are open, triceps are long, float the carriage out, lift, hold, hold there for just a moment, gorgeous, take an inhale, push the hips all the way out. Long with the torso, long with the torso, lift with the abdominals. Good, good, good. Now break at the elbows, drop those hips way down, way down, way down. Slow and low, bring it back and up, 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 up. Press it back out. Bring it down, bring it in, up. Going for the reversal, back down, push it out. Lift the hips all the way up and return. Give me one more, one more. Drop down, slow. Keep it low, press it out, engage the abdominals, pick the hips up, lengthen through the torso, bring it all the way in, stop, bring the leg off, slowly step off the carriage with the right leg, the left leg comes over, stop, float the arms up, exhale, beautifully done. Good, that was nice. That was very, very nicely done. That last sequence was baller. Yeah, yeah.